Hello, everybody. Guess who? Ken and Teresa again. Hello. Okay, been a couple weeks. Taking a break. But today we're going to talk about eyes because we all have them, at least two. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and some of us have four. <laughs> I have four. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to talk about different ways to patch for different conditions of your eyes, like dry eyes, swollen eyes, itchy eyes, cataracts, macular degeneration, glaucoma, vision in general, eyes wide, four eyes, floaters. You know what those are? When you see things in your eyes and they're just kind of flying back and forth, they're floaters. They're really true. And you I, cannot control that, right? No, I found them. The eye doctor did the computer things and put them on a the computer and you could actually see them. I'm like, they're real, I'm not seeing things, yay. <laughs> and then a year or so later I went back and I didn't have them anymore. So I don't know where they went, but I had them for like most of my life that I can remember. I've what? seen those things, but they disappeared. But anyway, all right, different parts of the eye belonging to different parts of the body. Did you know things were connected like that? No. Yeah. Okay, your, the lens of your eye and the pupil basically belong to the kidney. The sclerar, sclera. The white of the eye belong to the lungs. Arteries and veins belong to the heart. The top eyelid belongs to the spleen. The bottom eyelid belongs to the stomach. Cornea and iris belong to the liver. Wow. And the spleen and stomach also control circulation in the eyes. So if you got things going on in your eyes, maybe there's other conditions that cause it. But in the meantime, we're going to talk about how to patch for those things. Kind of in general, not necessarily specifically at this point because I don't want to bore you to death too much. All right, X39 protocols, the new patch that's nine months old now. The baby's growing up. <laughs> Getting old. <laughs> no, that's me. Okay. The most straightforward way we have to apply X39 will be directly over the eyes. So like if you have time to just lay down and rest a little, just don't take the backing off of them and stick them, but just stick them over your eyes when they're closed and lay there for a while. If you can't do that, then what you do is take two X39s and you take a sleep mask. Find the point that's on the mask is going to be right over your eyes and then place the patch on each spot on the mask and then put the mask on. And whether you put it on the inside or the outside, it doesn't matter. Either way. And that's one way to do it. And I did that with that and carnosine. Or glutathione. No, it was glutathione I did it with. And I did that for a few nights. Um, not a lot. But I started a different way to do it. So I stopped that and started the other way. But. Um, Which way you did yours? You're still doing, right? Well, I'm doing the other way, though. Okay. But not the mask. Okay. So. But the best way. At night before you go to bed, put two X39s on and put it on and use it all night. And then the other way is the next night maybe you can put carnosine patches on and switch them. Or if you have enough time and you take a nap and during the day, then put carnosine on during the day or the X39s and the other one at night. Either way you work at it. 
but try it see how it works the both the best the most the best okay adjacent positions and it requires openness on your side and if you've just started with this you don't know anyway but you're in, generally they say don't wear the other patches especially why the yh patches the eon carnosine and glutathione with the x39 but this approach does just that so this approach uses energy patches and energy patches there's two a white and a tan but the white on in the middle and the tan on the temple and then you can do it a little different you can put the white in the middle you know, the white on the right side and the tan in the middle so you can switch it around mm -hmm. do it how you, yeah. you feel and do it that way a few days and then try it the other way for a few days okay the yh patches the carnosine here eon here and then you can try the glutathione here and the eon here or you can do eon and carnosine right here one above the other glutathione here and a carnosine here now what i do with them is I put glutathione, eon, and carnosine. And I've been doing this a month. Mm -hmm. And every now and then I miss a night because I don't get home till late or whatever happens and I don't do it. I forget, whatever. <laughs> but we were talking about what we were going to do for the video. And Trace is like, well, let's do eyes. And I'm like, okay. She's like, you're doing it. And I'm like, yeah, but what do I got to say? I don't know nothing yet. And I'm like, well, let's try it out. So I went over, I picked up a book, I took my glasses off. And it's fuzzy, but it's not as fuzzy as it used to be. And I could read it, didn't I? Yeah, I was surprised. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> but I could read it. It's still fuzzy. It's not perfect if i went to the eye doctor i don't know that they would say it's different yet but i could read it and it was blurry but it wasn't as bad as it usually is when i try to read that size print without glasses so that was encouraging and surprising and yay mm -hmm. <laughs> okay and you got what what's your condition oh with my vision uh-huh uh, I use X39 for eight, almost eight months now, and I don't look at calendar. <laughs> but uh, when we were talking about vision, I was like, when I drive at night, the, the lights from the cars coming in my directions mm -hmm. don't bother me anymore. It's like I haven't even thought about that because I use X39 for so many different things, yeah. including thyroid. But uh, the, with the vision, even without using other parts for that, I have uh, uh, good results. Mm -hmm. And I'm not putting X39 on close to my eyes yeah. or uh, whatever. But you sent the uh, X39 to your mom for eyes mm -hmm. also. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <sighs> what, 3,000 miles away? <laughs> I've talked to her 80 times and said, wear one every day. And so far, I haven't been able to get her to do it. And then she goes, I don't remember. <laughs> But when, so, she, but when, when she, she puts it on, yeah. wherever she puts it, whatever ache and pain she's feeling, it feels better. So it's working for her. It's just not working with her eyes because she just had cataract surgery on both eyes. And she has glaucoma and macular degeneration. Wow. So I keep telling her right there every day or every night. 
And I think the last time I talked to her, she just turned 88. And I, when I called her on her birthday, I asked her, are you wearing them every day now? And she said, yes. And I'm like, good. So that part's hopefully solved. Yeah. So anyway, I sent her another back. So she got another month to do it. So we'll see what goes with that. But she hadn't worn them enough. And I don't think she'd been wearing them on her eyes to affect the eyes. Mm -hmm. But yeah. we'll see. But we're doing the simple way. Just one X39 in the middle of the eyes. She still doesn't but, know what my mother did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. When I talked to her on her birthday, a couple of weeks after I talked to her last time, and said, every day? She said she was. So we'll see. And we'll see if it helps the eyes any. So, all right. Another combination is to put the X39 on the right side and an energy enhancer and a tan patch on the right and left side. And then, of course, you can just switch that around and put the X39 on the right side. And the energy enhancer, one on right, right one on the right, left one tan. And so you just try them and you see which works best for you. All right, vision impairments, the floaters, the retina. Okay, option one protocol without the X39. Ice wave and carnosine. You put carnosine in the middle here. Uh huh. And ice wave on the side. The temple, yep. Yeah. And then option two is an energy enhancer. Mm -hmm. And energy enhancer has two patches. You put the white one on the right side and the left, tan one on the left side. And generally, why you go to sleep in the evening, let them work while you're being quiet. Mm -hmm. Third option is carnosine. Mm -hmm. um, this is you just put over them. each eye. Yeah. Yeah. Because they, yes. it's not like uh, energy enhancer, left and right, uh, different colors, you mm -hmm. know, white and tan. This one is the same, you know, uh, is one, not two of them combination. You just put uh, one uh, on each one eye, over each yep. eye. Yeah. And if you're laying down, putting them on, don't take the backing off, just lay them on your eyes. Yeah, and you can use over again. Yep. You don't have to just uh, use one time, but you can yeah. use one for several days, uh, three, even three days. Yeah. Depending on how long you wear them. If you wear them overnight, maybe you can get two nights out of them. Yeah. If you put them on just in the middle of the day and have them on for an hour or two, you probably use them three or four or five days. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's good to, even when you go to take a nap, just put uh, over your eyes and mm -hmm. uh, will still work. Yeah. Yep. Okay, the fourth one is you put the glutathione patches over your eyes. Mm -hmm. And again, like we said before, you put them on a mask, and wear them all night, or you just set them on your eyes, don't take the backing off, yeah. and lay there and rest for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But at this point, the way I'm doing it seems to be doing okay. So for now, I'm going to keep that. Uh, at some point, I will probably go back to the mask. But since I have them, just for extra. But right now, the 3YH, the Eon, Carnosine, and Glutathione, and Sleep All Night. And you may wonder what that one is. That's X39. I had a toothache a few weeks ago, and by the time I went to the doctor, it disappeared. But when she took the x-ray, the sinus cavity in here on this side was clear. This one was all cloudy. And the tooth hadn't hurt for a while. And last night it was kind of sensitive. So I'm like, okay, let's slap an X39 on that sinus cavity and see what happens. Works on everything else. Yeah. <laughs> Should work on that. Might too. as well. 
<laughs> Got to give it a try. I've been putting it down on my hernia so I can get rid of that. Well, we'll see how that works. If it'll sew it back up for me. I'm hoping. All right, people. Have a good week. Talk to you again next time. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye.